the title of this video may be confusing to some, and hell, you might even look at me like I've fucking lost it, after all. A melee class having more support capabilities than actual support class? Are you fucking serious? But instead of just sitting here and looking like an absolute nutcase, allow me to present my case into why I personally believe that Chomper is a better support class than Rose in Garden Warfare 2. Let's get started. Now let's get the obvious thing out of the way. Rose was intentionally designed to be a mid-range support class, whilst Chomper was intended to be a close-range powerhouse. You'd think the support class would be better at actually supporting their team than the melee class, yet he manages to get more supportive utility than compared to Rose. How is this even possible? Rose has an entire kit dedicated to supporting her teammates, from a stun, to a morph ability that shut down powerful classes, and a self-protection ability that can either be a safe way to finish of lone picks, or be used to heal her teammates. Three abilities purely dedicated to support. We then look at Chomper, who at most has one. Burrow doesn't really count since it's used primarily for either self-mobility or assassination. And Spikeweed is also only really useful selfishly. So Goop is his only option. Yet Goop can actually far outweigh the supportive capabilities of most, if not all of Rose's available kit, with the possible exception of Jinx. How this happens is actually purely due to how much each of the abilities offer. Taking a look at Rose's kit offers the following. Time Snare slows down enemies significantly in an extremely large radius for one and a half seconds, takes two thirds of a second to deploy, and has a 25 second cooldown. Goatify fires a slow projectile that transforms enemies into weak goats, and provides utility in shutting down legendary modes. Enigma is more useful in self defense, whilst Lotus can be used in supporting multiple teammates with healing all at once. That all sounds like a lot of utility and support, clearly enough to rival what Goop has right. Right? Wrong. Goop, just by itself, can very easily outperform all of Rose's kit, and in more ways than one. It essentially is a time snare with a slightly smaller effect radius, but oh boy, does it provide a hell of a lot more to the table. For starters, its sensitivity penalty is extremely harsh, to the point where it outright locks it to a super low value, and makes it extremely hard to turn. It deals damage upon impact, with a little bit of splash, and even damage over time, which whilst all of that is minimal, does grant him a way to chip at enemies without even having to really aim. Unlike Time Snare, the ability deploys instantly, so there's no delay in using it. And the most powerful part about Goop is its availability. Goop has the shortest cooldown of any ability in the game with a cooldown, taking only 7 seconds to recharge. This essentially makes Goop have an extremely high amount of uptime compared to Time Snare. Hell, you can almost use Goop 5 times in the span it takes you to deploy a Time Snare twice if both are and a chomper used them at the same time. This is arguably Goop's strongest selling point, being this extremely short cooldown which makes it readily available almost all the time. And it's because of this that Chomper actually functions better as a support than all of Rose's kit in Garden Warfare 2, with the sole exception of Jinx, although that's more because that status effect is beyond comprehension in terms of balance. I mean a 75% increase in damage received from all sources for 10 entire fucking seconds is just absolutely absurd like what the fuck. But yes, this is why I think that Chomper is a much better support class than Rose. Even though Chomper wasn't meant to be a support class, and Rose was designed for one, at least they eventually got her right in BFN. But at the cost of her damage being even fucking worse. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.